The Forza battery is all about wind propelled sports. It's sailboats, it's uh, oil boards, it's tighters, it's everybody. Um, and we're doing a drag race. It's like 70s on the start line, going straight downwind, super intense, super fast. It's a shorter course, it's only seven miles or so, uh, but you know, the top records are in like six minute range, so you know, it, it's heated. Yeah, we're at James Allen Yacht Club, obviously in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, the Yacht Club's got 450 members. We're located on the south side of Charleston Harbor. Um, it's a really picturesque view here. We got a beach. We've got boat launching. Um, boys in the brand new docks, which we're super excited about. It's great for this year. This event is its own beast. It's got a. It's completely different than regular satellite races, where you're going around a course, set course, and whatnot. This is a drag strip race. Um, it's really fun, it's really fast, it's over really quick, other than like regattas that go on for you know, days, so it's just really high paced, action packed, and really fun. They've made it super convenient because it is an upwind uh, ride to where we start the race. So we were able to jump on the boat, set up on a beautiful beach, and launch our kites, uh, moths or sailboats or Hobie cats were easily able to attack upwind and um, we had about a 30 minute uh, wait time uh, for the start. And you know, the James Island Yacht Club did a phenomenal job of doing the race committee and, you know, very, very uh, good structured layout, uh, however God it should be. Fortunately, this year the start line was pretty wide, but I got to say, when you got 70 people, I don't even know how many people were out there, but it was a lot. When you put that many people all back and forth, zigzagging, and they're all wanting to do the start at the same exact time, have the best start, uh, it gets a little chaotic, but, you know, it's... For the majority, most of them are kite boarders and the etiquette plays a role. You know, everybody's just having a good time. You know, yeah, some people are really super serious and other people are just chill. Thank you to all the captains why we have a dozen vessels in the water. It was seamlessly like I never seen that before ever. So this year was different. Two vessels just Bump, bump, boat going upwind, 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 riders ready with their gear. Nobody was riding in circles around, so it was just perfect. So we had 85 people at the start, got to the sandbar, everybody started rigging up. Uh, the committee did a great job calling the calls, so we did two postpones on the start, right? So we had first 15 minutes, we pushed it back because more people were arriving. Another 10 minutes to make sure that the wind is settled in the harbor, and that was big responsibility for all these captains, those 12 vessels, plus the media vessels, everybody that was supporting this race. Every year the intensity of uh, the actual race is better and better. Everybody's getting better for foil racing, twin tip racing and stuff. Um, uh, so like this year, uh, the start went off pretty well because there's a wide start line and then, um, you know, not everybody knows where to go. So it's a little chaotic there for a second because everybody's shooting really low and you had to go a little higher this year because of the wind angle. But as far as the race goes, like at the very end, I crashed like three quarters of the way in. I crashed. I thought I was so far ahead. I thought I was good. And then here comes Bao and here comes Jason and here comes Brian and they're up my butt. And they're like racing neck and neck. And for the finish, it, it was like photographic, like racing horses across the finish line. And uh, unfortunately, Bao exploded just before he finished. I think me and him were neck and neck, and uh, uh, Dave uh, came up second place, Val third place. But uh, yeah, the finish, this is the first race I've seen where it was like neck and neck the whole way. So. This is the Ford to Battery race, and I mean, it's awesome. Like, there's a lot of events where you don't op necessarily have the opportunity to have a support staff of boats and jet skis and everything that's out there to make sure that no matter what happens you're safe. So I think this is like a really awesome event for any first timer who's trying to like, you know, I kiteboard, should I try and compete, should I get into a race or something like that. This event's like definitely by far one of the best. The level of athlete ranges from the world champion um, kiteboarder to, uh, we've got two kids that are 12 years old out there sailing right now. And we had a 13-year-old racing competing. I think she was the youngest competitor in the race. Um, so it's a variety and a variety of different boats and formats. You've got foiling kite boards, standard kite boards. You've got UFOs. You've got wasps. We've got moths. There was probably uh, there was a Hobie cat out there. So a wide variety of platforms to sail on. Fort Barry 2019 was a blast.
Thank you so much for everybody that worked behind the scenes. From all the volunteers, there were hundreds of hours behind the scenes for people taking meetings and just making sure that this runs seamlessly. And that's what happened today. We had a seamless event. The biggest applause is to our sponsors and you guys can see the flags from Tent City here. I can't say enough to Airash, Slingshot, Liquid Force, Nash, Duotone, Mystic, Fat and Juicy, the James Helen Yacht Club for letting us have this here again. And because of all this effort, we started working on this race since December. We had a blast in the last 48 hours. That was awesome and I can't wait to do it again.